Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing the benchmark test for the Galaxy Note 9 eight gigs of RAM version. This has been a requested video since we did the six gigs of RAM last week. All of the comparison between the eight gig and six gigs will be in the comment section down below. So if you wanna see how they compare, check that out. However, here while we have them here, we're gonna have the iPhone 10 and the S9 Plus as a comparison to the two. Now, first of all, obviously the CPU uh, Geekbench test and the graphics card 3D and Mark should be about the same. Where we're expecting a difference is the Intuitu to really be a big difference between these other two smartphones. So in terms of Geekbench, we can see that yes, it is pretty much exactly uh, where the last one was. In terms of compared to the S9 Plus, you see that yes, you really see a slight difference and mostly probably because of software tweaks, um, but that should be about it. In terms of the iPhone, again, it's still better than the Note when it comes to processor, not when it comes to the entire phone, as we'll get to in a second, but in terms of processor, the iPhone does beat the Note and the S9 Plus handedly. Now, as we go to the benchmark one, we start to see a different story between them. So overall with the benchmark one, it actually scored a little bit less compared to the S9 Plus. Uh, and again, uh, way more than the iPhone 10 accordingly. So overall, when it comes to these two, graphics card is pretty much the same. And you can imagine if I did this three or four times, it would be pretty much be identical to these two. So no difference in graphics but compared to the iPhone 10, it does beat it in terms of graphics processing. So uh, as games come out more and more with Vulkan and different things like that, you can expect it to be uh, better off with the Android uh, top ones instead of the iPhone currently, but we'll wait when September comes around if that completely changes. And yes, we will be doing those benchmarks. All right, and then finally, we have the Intuitu benchmark test. Now the Intuitu takes everything into account. CPU, graphics, UI, and memory. It takes them all into account and uh, basically shows you how good your phone is overall. And in that test, we do see that overall, yes, the Galaxy Note 9 with eight gigs of RAM and 512 storage does really went out. Overall, when it comes to it, the uh, processor definitely beats it slightly on here. Graphics has definitely been, again, upped on here. And I think for the Antutu one, the reason why it did so much better is because of the cooling. Uh, the, I was watching the CP, uh, the temperature of it, and it seemed to be a little bit cooler than when I run the benchmarks on the S9. The UX, again, is a little bit tweaked, which you expect it to be. And again, the memory is only a little bit better in comparison, but overall, this score is going to be better than the Note 9 with six gigs of RAM as well. Uh, which again, that comparison will be down below. So overall, yeah, you can see, although the iPhone was having a little bit trouble with uh, showing this, I will go back and kind of show you guys just where the ranking uh, lies for the Note 9. Although th again, for some reason, the rankings sometimes have issues or take a long time. Uh, but where this was, was basically above the OnePlus 6 and uh, right under the Xiaomi Mi Black Shark. So, but right under that one, so everything else in Android, it seems to outperform overall, including where the score pretty much was identical for the S9 Plus. Um, it really stands out overall though, in terms of all other Androids, especially all the ones we have in the US. So kind of gives you a good indication. Of course, we're gonna check the benchmarks as they come out for the iPhone 10 2, 10 X, whatever they're gonna call it, the 12, the 11, whatever they're gonna call it. And of course, we're gonna check out the Pixel as it comes out and the LG V40. So stay tuned and stay subscribed to the channel for all of those videos. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.